This is the first in a series of videos about database normalization. In this video, I'll say what database normalization is and I'll outline the benefits of normalizing a database. I'll also give you a definition of the first three normal forms of a relational database. In the videos that follow, I'll explain these definitions in plain English by working through an example that you can understand. So, what is database normalization? Once you've decided what data you need to store in a database, at least in general terms, then you need to work out what tables you're going to need. You need to know what columns each table will have, and you need to identify the relationships between the tables. Normalization is a formal process that will allow you to do this. It's a well-documented, systematic approach to organizing the data in a relational database. It's a refinement process through which you can derive the most efficient structure for a database. During the normalization process, a relational database is transformed from one normal form to the next until an optimal structure is arrived at. Database normalization rarely eliminates all duplication of data, but what it does do is eliminate unnecessary duplication of data. This means that a normalized database is more space efficient. If it's only possible to edit a particular data item in one place, for example, somebody's surname, then there's no possibility of having different values for the same thing in different places. Data are consistent. One of the key features of object-oriented programming is the way that real-world entities are modelled with classes and the way that multiple objects of the same type can be created from these classes. Often, the data contained within a programmatic object is persisted as a record in a database. A normalised relational database lends itself well to this job if it too is more closely mapped to real-world entities. If you ever develop an application with a database at the back end, you may experience the frustration of realising well into the project that the database structure you established in the first place isn't fit for purpose. Normalisation is a process that will help you to get it right first time, and this can save you a lot of recoding later. It should be said though, you need to understand the data that you're working with if you're building a new database for an insurance company, for example, you need to know about policies, premiums and claims. If you're building a database for a bus company, you need to understand how the vehicles and the drivers are allocated to different routes. The truth is, if you don't know the meaning of the data, you'll probably come unstuck. Here's some of the terminology that you're going to encounter in this series. It's easy to get hung up on and confused by terminology, but it's the language of database designers. I'll try to demystify some of this jargon for you. And here are the first three most important normal forms defined. At first sight the jargon seems a little daunting, but all will be revealed in the next few videos.